This is a video supplement for the article Energy Barrier for Point Defect Reactions in 3C Silicon Carbide, published on Physical Review B. This video is presented by Ming Ji Zheng in the Department of Material Science and Engineering from University of Wisconsin at Madison. The crystal structure of 3C silicon carbide is diamond structure. We use yellow for silicon atom and purple for carbon atom. Due to its mechanical stability at a high temperature and low neutron capture cross-sections, silicon carbide has promising nuclear applications. For example, it has been proposed to use as a colliding material in the triso fuel particle, which can provide barrier for fission products. Thus, it is important to understand its irradiation behavior, including the irradiation-induced amorphization and annealing. For example, in the electron irradiation experiment, three recurrent stages have been observed. However, their mechanisms are still not conclusive up to now. As we know, radiation causes damage through creating defects in the material. If defects accumulate, it will lead to amorphization, while if defects annihilate through defect annealing reactions, it will bring recovery stages. Thus, our research goal is to understand annealing mechanisms through studying the kinetics of defect annealing reactions in 3C silicon carbide. The methods we use are mainly density functional theory calculation, including AB initial molecular dynamics simulation, climbing image nudged elastic band method, and drag method. Under irradiation, three types of defects are formed on each kind of sublattice in silicon carbide, including interstitials, vacancies, and antisites. Here shows the example of carbon interstitial. The most stable one has a carbon-carbon dumbbell structure, denoted as carbon sp100, means a carbon split interstitial along 100 direction. The carbon interstitial has different stable charge states at different forming levels. At middle gap, the stable charge state is 2 plus, while at the conduction band minimum, it is neutral. And carbon vacancy behaves similarly, 2 plus at the mid gap and neutral at the conduction band minimum. If a silicon atom sits at a carbon lattice site, it forms a silicon antisite, while if a carbon atom sits at a silicon lattice site, it will be a carbon antisite. Both of these two antisites have stable neutral charge states at mid gap and the conduction band minimum. The annealing mechanisms have been studied through the defect kinetics in silicon carbide, including migration of point defects, especially migration of interstitials, which are the most mobile defects in the system and interaction between defects. We focus on the reactions between binary defects, including two recombination of Frenkel pairs, for example, the carbon Frenkel pair and the silicon Frenkel pair, which can remove defects, and two kickout reactions, which can remove antisites. Both of these two kinds of reactions can bring recovery to the system. First, Let's look at the recombination reaction between carbon interstitial and carbon vacancy. The recombination path is found to start from the fourth nearest neighbor, passing the second and the first nearest neighbor, then recombine with the vacancy. Along this path, the recombination barrier was calculated to be 0 0.9 eV, which is larger than the migration barrier of carbon interstitial, 0 0.6 eV. Such kind of energy landscape is considered to have a recombination profile. 
and the rate limited barrier is the recombination barrier, 0.9 eV. Then let's look at the recombination between silicon interstitial and silicon vacancy. And we find the recombination path as the silicon interstitial atom kicks out another silicon atom, which recombines with the silicon vacancy. And the barrier along this path is only 0.03 eV. Considering the silicon interstitial has a migration barrier of about 0.8 eV, the rate limited step would be the silicon interstitial migration. And such kind of energy landscape is considered to have a migration profile. Then let's look at the kickout reaction. The carbon interstitial kicks out a silicon antacid, forms a silicon interstitial. The energy landscape has a trapping profile. It means the carbon interstitial atom tends to be trapped at the first nearest neighbor of the silicon antacid. Due to high recombination barrier, about 1.34 eV, and high dissociation barrier, 1.67 eV. Both of them are higher than the carbon interstitial migration barrier, 0.6 eV. Thus, it can form a metastable carbon interstitial silicon antacid cluster. Such kind of cluster has been observed in the classical MD simulation. For another kick-out reaction, the silicon interstitial atom can directly kick out the carbon antacid and forms a carbon interstitial. And the recombination barrier is 0.64 eV, which is smaller than the migration barrier of the silicon interstitial. And as we mentioned before, this kind of energy landscape has a migration profile and the rate limited barrier is the migration barrier which is about 0.8 eV. We summarize the energy barriers of the four defect annealing reactions as well as migration barriers of interstitials and map them on the three experimental recovery stages. As shown in this figure, the dots represent the calculated rate limited energy barriers and the shadow areas mark the experimental barrier range. Through the comparison, we associate the activity point defect reactions with recovery stages. And we find the rate limited reaction for amorphization, which is the carbon interstitial kicks out the silicon antacid and forms the silicon interstitial. Since this reaction corresponds to the third recovery stage, which occurs just before the amorphization. Thus, this mechanism may set the critical temperature to amorphization. In conclusion, the defect annealing mechanism in 3C silicon carbide has been understood. We studied the 4K defect annealing reactions with different charge states and determined their energy barriers. And we associate the activated defect reactions with the three silicon carbide recovery stages. And we propose the K mechanism for amorphization in 3C silicon carbide as the reaction of the carbon interstitial kicks out the silicon antacid and forms the silicon interstitial. With that, thank you for listening to this video supplement.